Hi everyone and welcome to my wow card creation. We're going to be using this unicorn magic um, embossing glitter as well as this gold metallic rich super fine. Um, I think it's quite fitting to use these with the stamp sets from Pink and Main plus the coordinating dies. Um, and then we've got the poker hearts. I'll also be using the WOW Premium Craft Mat. This is actually quite essential for me to use as part of my process. And then I will also use the Pink and Mate Arch Tags dies, which I'll bring in later, and um, some uniquely creative cross-stitch rectangles. So I've got my to Tim Holtz Tonic stamping platform here. I'm going to be... Oh, that's my little kitty that's <laughs> helping herself to the video as well so you'll probably hear her <laughs> every now and then but back to the card I'm going to be using this background poker hearts stamp set I've mounted it on my stamping platform and inked it up with my wow slow drying ultra slow drying ink this is a really really great ink for your heat embossing it's perfect for grasping the embossing glitters anything to do with um, embossing powders as well I'm generously applying this unicorn magic embossing glitter here and it is stunning to use I absolutely love it um, so I really just pour that all over I wanted to capture all of the backdrop here and once I have I'm finally with finished with that I'll actually put it aside and then I'm going to heat set it now using the wow heat tool I with embossing glitters I tend to heat underneath first to start the heating process and then towards the then I go to the top of the actual um, card panel so why I've done that is to pretty much try and keep the glitter and not blow up blow the glitter away or lose any of the glitter throughout this heat setting process so just running my heat tool all over this and um, <laughs> um, just making sure it's all set in properly my little kitty keeps turning on my little radio everything around me so isn't it just stunning it's so beautiful it's almost holographic in its own way it's beautiful so I've got the arch and tag die here and bringing in now my premium mat so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just create a little water panel here so this is watercolor cardstock as well I have got some distress inks here and distress oxide inks so I've got your picked raspberry mermaid lagoon and wilted violet in the distress oxide because I really wanted some of that opaque kind of purple color I feel like this color combination is very unicorny so that is why I'm going with this color combination and ink color combination and once I've heavily smushed that down and spritzed it I press my watercolor panel all over it I actually am happy with that I don't waste the re remainder of the ink and I do press another watercolor card stock as well on top of that but setting that aside and moving on to my tag so this die comes with the little circle that punches out the hole you know the top part of the tag I don't even know if that's a technical if there's a technical name or term for that but the whole part <laughs> and then um, once I've die cut that out I start working on the image so I've got this beautiful unicorn it almost looks like a unicorn cross with the my little pony i absolutely loved my little pony growing up i had one when i was growing up so it reminds me of that then once i have used and stamped that with um, my versafine onyx black ink um i just make sure that's ready for watercoloring i set aside for it to dry that little bit longer because it is versafine I die cut now that panel that we've heat set previously with some cross stitch border from uniquely creative and I kind of figure out and fiddle with the layout here now I stamped it in onyx blacking and I thought you know what I really want to try it and do a gold unicorn and see if that works out I actually don't end up using that but you see my thought process going hmm let me double check let me see the gold does look great heat embossed but when I watercolored I wasn't really happy with, happy overall with my watercoloring um, and it was just you know pretty much 
as my backup. So once I've heat set my unicorn, this gorgeous little unicorn, I love how this unicorn set has three um, little unicorns to choose from and it's also got little images like stars and a rainbow um, and clouds it's just gorgeous so how I color my image is I pick up some zig clean and clear markers I scribble on a block just my stamping block here on uh, an array of colors that I wish to use and then I use my aqua pencil brush to pick up any color so here I am and I watercolored my little unicorn and I do go in fast speed I'm so sorry um, if this makes you nauseous <laughs> however I didn't really want to bore you I am um, yeah I'm, I'm not a fantastic watercolor and I just pretty much just go with how I feel don't go by any rules I just play along um, and I actually don't use this image and then I show you coming up fairly shortly that I have watercolored the stamped image and use that one instead and fussy cut around it but I let you watch this little bit of process here of my watercoloring um, so again kind of going with almost like the unicorn unicorn type colors so you can see here I pretty much go for the stamped image I just didn't feel the image that I the gold embossed image wasn't standing out enough for me okay so I've got a little sentiment here and I'm going to make sure I stamp on that with my Versify and Onyx Black ink so you watch my process here unfold where I'm not really you know I, I make two as a backup I don't know if you do that but I tend to make more than one um, for certain things and you know for a variety of options so I've done that here with today's card so I foam, main, foam mounted that poker hearts panel that I've hit embossed I'm going to offset it which is not usually like me but I wanted to try something different I don't know about you but that that tends to give me a complex <laughs> um, but I go with it I just was letting myself go with making this and um, these this card and just really enjoyed the process so I've got my Nuvo um, glue here I adhere that down I have got a little bit strip of black cardstock as well which I've cut on an angle and I'm now just going to foam mount these sentiments um, once I've happy with all the foam mounting I know I'm an excessive use of foam mounts. It's nothing new for those who watch my YouTube on how much I love my foam <laughs> for the backing. Um, and I just add that to the side, to the, towards the bottom of the tag, and then my little unicorn as well. And then I excessively add my foam mount on the unicorn as well. Uh, and you can see with the light even how sparkly that embossing glitter that unicorn embossing glitter is just even watching it it's such a beautiful embossing glitter i hope you really um get your hands on that because you will love it okay once i have finished peeled all this off i finish my card off um, by placing that down and then also grabbing some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh I'm going to be using the Ballerina Pink now I've only got one size in this and once if they have any other sizes I'll get my hands on that fairly soon um, been playing with some Pretty Pink Posh goodies lately so keep an eye out next month for some Pretty Pink Posh um, goodies happening your way um, and then to adhere these down my adhesive of choice is always my range of multi matte medium and then placing my sequence down so that um, place placement of the sequence is going by a triangle it's a little bit of a, almost like a golden rule to do it that way but you know sometimes I adhere to the rule sometimes I don't just go with what I feel then I've got some spectrum nor clear sparkle pen here to make that unicorn shine that little bit more and I do want the eyes to stand out that little bit more so I do add some little bit of depth with my um, jelly roll pen here in black and then um, just so to make that eye stand out a little bit more and that finishes my card off so thanks for watching i hope you enjoy today's card creation and catch you next time bye